what we have here is a is a fire view what they call a fire view wood heater it was designed by a guy by the name of Bob Stevenson and I think his wife Joan I'm guessing Bob and Joan Stevenson the idea was actually patented the company was around eh, I think 1969 to 1984 and the idea behind it was that you that you had to make that he wanted to make a super efficient wood what he called a wood heater uh, I guess he spent some time in a uh, log cabin a couple few winters in a log cabin in, in Rogue River Oregon which is where it's made actually there's a logo and then the uh, address is Rogue, Rogue River Oregon obviously not in business anymore uh, but the idea behind it was that you'd have a super efficient barrel stove with a viewing window for the fire that you could actually turn you could actually open up and so when it was closed down like this and it's missing a few pieces somebody tried to fabricate these these flapper valve they're uh, like a I don't know like a, a it blocks the I don't know kind of seals off the uh, flame so you can't see it and it makes it burn very really efficiently but if you want to view it you would flip this open there's a mesh in there right now that's not supposed to be in there uh, and then you flip these open and it's on a little slot and it's, so it's missing that piece in there and you flip that side open <laughs> this open and then this this louver I guess what you call it these two pieces f fold down low and it opens up the view so you can see the fire inside of it and so if you want more of a I guess uh, if you want just a little more aesthetic look, you can open that up and it looks kind of cool. And then if you want to fold it up for the night, you can uh, seal it off, or sort of seal it off, and then it burns more efficient. He also installed these uh, plates on both sides for small cooking uh, pots and pans or whatever, but they're only about four and a half inches wide, so it's not very big. It's a tiny little stove, and the intention is we make it for our for our uh, little cabin, hopefully, that we get to build sometime in the next year or two. But it's not just a barrel. It's actually, it's, you gotta open it pretty stiff. It's not just a barrel. It was actually fabricated fabricated this way, and it has fire bricks in it. At least half of it on the lower half of it. There's fire bricks, and it's relatively heavy gauge uh, steel. And then it has some sort of vent vent hole right there. I don't know what that does. There's a nickel on it somebody put in there. I don't know if that's supposed to be that way or what, but there's a tube that goes in there. And then there's the draft right here. Let me open that up. It's kind of cool. It's full of full of ash. which needs to be cleaned out, but you can control the temperature flow that way. And then it has these mounts for a, uh, a shroud, which it came with it. Uh, but we found this at a garage sale for $35, so I think it'll be nice once I get it cleaned up fixed up and uh, yeah, it'll be kind of an interesting looking stove for a small super small cabin and it needs a lot of needs, yeah, it needs a little work it needs to be cleaned and repainted the right way it's kind of messed up but uh, that'll be a fun project and uh, yeah it should look really cool in there Try some of that. Satin black. <clears throat> 